Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading so please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. So we're starting out all right with the Empress, the Ten of Cups, but we're in the Hanged Man. Somebody's stuck in the past here or fighting with the past. Could be family. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, Five of Swords, yeah. Big fight going on. And and I feel like viewer, you're you're like sitting there going, Well, what are we fighting about? So that could be the hanged man energy. It's like it's like kinda like you don't even know what you're fighting about. You're just kinda going, What? Um So, okay. So somebody, somebody stressed about an apology or an offer of love. Could be a cancer. Cancer's defending themselves. Oh. So you could be stuck because of someone else's behavior and this person is defending themselves but they're apologizing huh okay they're probably they, they, they're stressed about apologizing knight of cups in the most recent past knight of wands and the ten of cups So maybe they're apolo maybe they're apologizing for getting a little spicy with you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're this person's ten of cups, and you may not look at them that way. Immediate future. Three of Swords, Three of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> Maybe you're defending yourself against this person. Because they, they okay. So they, they've hurt you in some way. And that's what caused you to walk away. This person has been competing with you. Uh, possibly out of jealousy. And they're very, very discontent. And I feel like you, you just simply walked away. You just, you know, money or no money or whatever the situation is. You just walked away. I mean, it hurt you. Whatever was said and done here really hurt you. This person is stalking you. They're stalking you. They're they're watching you heal, watching you uh, be very very strong. They're jealous of that. This is about to be over. If it isn't already. Okay. So it's all about destiny here. Somebody's jealous of your destiny. And they want to see you fall. Period. Period. They want to keep you stuck and burdened. So you can't move forward towards your destiny. Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, and Aquarius energy. So this person knows that they need to apologize for something that they've done here. And they're, they're still doing it. I mean, it's, it's, it's like the apology is almost in vain. Because no matter... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> if you accept their apology or not, they're still going to keep keep on doing what they're doing. That's why you're walking away. Like enough's enough. And 
three of wands, three, three, three in this reading right away. Um, there's definitely three people here working you. Uh, there's a queen of swords and a queen of pentacles. So, or you could be either one. I do feel like you're waiting for something. Waiting for your ships to come in. And until then, you're like in the Queen of Swords energy. You don't want to hear it. Um, and this Queen of Pentacles wants to offer you something. Hopes and fears. You want to be fine on your own. That that's You want to balance things out. In your earth and the earth angel energy, you want to balance these hopes and fears. You want to balance things out on your own, your own work, your own life. Make things happen in your own world. And I do think that that's what you're doing, despite anybody's best efforts to stop you, because they are trying to stop you. Viewer. Look, Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, whatever you do for a living that helps you shine someone is fighting you 110 percent the whole way so hang in there because this, is, this feels like a war to me a personal vendetta that somebody has against you and what you do for a living something that makes you shine something that makes you show up in the world and somebody wants that spot so they're trying to do everything they can to take you down five five of swords five of wands in the immediate future i don't i can't see this any other way i would love to give you a positive reading but from what i can see here the hanged man with the nine of swords and the and the page of cups and then we go straight from that from the Knight of Cups, from somebody that's, you know, all about the love, into the Three of Swords, Three of Three of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the and the Five of Wands, and then the Five of Swords at the end. Yeah, it's all about your destiny. Somebody is is really really jealous because you have some form of destiny that is supposed to be probably in the public eye, and somebody wants to take that from you. They want to fight you for it. Empress, who's just doing their work. An empress who's just doing their work. Somebody who's been all four queens. Hence why she's probably in the Queen of Swords energy. We got a Sagittarius and a King of Cups here. So this is what they don't want. They don't want somebody, they don't want you to see this and they don't want them to see you. Whoever this person is in the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups energy... They do not want this person to see you. That is why they're they're fighting you 110%. It, 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 I don't see. They're, it's like they're competing with you for this person's attention. And you don't even know that you're competing. Sagittarius energy. You, 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 you're, you don't care. You're working. You're doing your thing. You're keeping your head down. And this person is fighting you for a relationship that you don't even have yet. Huh? Or, 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 yeah. So, like I said, doing something very underhanded here. Trying to make you look bad to whoever's coming in to offer you love. They don't want you to get this. They don't want you to have this choice. Could be a king of swords. They don't want you to be a part of this. Whoever this person, they're very immature. Whoever this person is, they are playing games with you and another person's life, which is really, really horrendous. I, I don't, I don't understand. You might even not want this person that they're trying to keep from seeing you. You might look. So we got the four of cups here. You don't even see that cup. Three of pentacles and the ace of swords. Or the ace of wands. You don't even see it. This contract or this negotiation that's going on behind the scenes. 
you are not even concentrating on that. You're trying to keep your head above water. You're trying to do what you got to do. Um, try to stay in love in the meantime. It's difficult when all them cups are empty. But you're still trying. And like I said, and somebody's fighting you for something that you don't even know exists yet. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. So whoever this person was, this Knight of Cups in the past, was somebody who took forever to make a solid offer. And I feel like whoever they were, you ended it. You, you, you put down the burden. This could be the person that's attacking you. And they're stressed because you, you walked away. You said, no, I'm not playing games with you. Sagittarius energy. Immediate future is the hermit. Virgo, not seeing the King of Cups. So you could be a Virgo, or you could have Virgo aspected in your chart. You're not even seeing this King of Cups at this point. But somebody wants to fight you for it. Like I said, it makes no sense to me. None. Unless they're involved with them, which is a good possibility. We got the Hermit and the Lovers, the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands, Four of Swords. So they think they've won something here. By hurting you, they think they've won something. I can tell you, whoever you are, it will be a temporary win because you can't win something that don't belong to you. If it's, it's, if it's meant for another person and it's their destiny, it's their destiny. And it will grow despite anybody's best efforts to keep it from happening. That person, if those two people are meant to meet, they will meet. And look, look, I can't even make it up. The Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. So somebody wants to end you. Period. Period. And I don't even want to put it another way. So you can't be their competition. Chariot, Ten of Cups. This person looks at you like competition for somebody's affection that you don't even know yet. Like I said, you might know them. You might have walked away from them. And, you know, said, screw it. I ain't, I ain't dealing with you anymore, which stressed them out. Maybe that's a family member. Because I got, I had the Ten of Cups here twice. Maybe it's a family member that's doing this. Because maybe they know the person that's interested in you. or, or and, and maybe they're, they're telling this person that you're this and you're that and you're the other thing. And, and you're not. And you're proving it different. And, and that's what they're seeing. And they're like, what do you mean? So like I said, they're, they're, they're trying to make you fight. They're trying to make you... Fight for your spot to be alive. This is, this is wrong. It's just wrong. Six of Pentacles and it's the outside influence. Is getting what's fair to you is coming back around. So for your star energy, for your healing, for your journey, whatever you've put in to your growth is what's coming back around. And it's the star energy. This could be somebody famous. I don't know. Somebody that wants to come in and be fair to you. And I do feel like they may have misjudged you in the past. Sagittarius again. Judgment. King of Wands. And, and back at the hanged man. As the outside influence. You're stuck. Either that or you're self-sabotaging. Don't do that. But you are enlightening yourself to what is what is really going on here. Like I said, this person wants to says somebody here wants to be you. They want your spot. They want your the the love that's coming in. They want everything that you are. And they don't want to have to work for it. They just want to take it. And then you have this, this King of Cups 
Like I said, you don't even know this person's here. That is just trying to look at you, who's trying to see you and see you for who you are. And you've got all these other people in their ear making you sound like you are just a horrible person. And you're not. You're a queen of cups. You're an empress, which is all four queens. This could be this person's mother that sees you as competition or a threat. This person could be the child of somebody and their mother sees you as the threat. I thought that went out with the olden days, guys. I thought people didn't do that anymore, but maybe I'm wrong. I thought people lived their own lives. So the hopes and fears is that you're going to hear from this person, and this person is, is coming. They're very attracted to you. They want to send you a message, and they want to come towards you. I do feel like this person is at a distance. Like I said, you don't even know it. It's hidden. Somebody has to let go of you, though. Whoever this person is that's hanging on to you, that's keeping your growth stunted, that is making things hard for you, they have to let go. They have to let go of something that belongs to you. And I don't know if it's your love life or what, but got Pisces energy there. Um, I do feel like it has something to do with your love life. And that's the truth. King of Swords. Somebody does regret how they treated you here. They treated you like somebody who didn't have a clue. Very immature, very, very immature behavior. What is this uh, Hermit Lovers and the Seven of Pentacles about on the Three of Swords? I feel like you walked away from somebody here or you're fixing to. Because you just, it's too much trouble. Yeah. There it is. The ghost with the most. King of Cups in reverse. Sun in reverse. This person is not going to get what they want from you. I think your heels are dug in. You're not giving them what they want. Which is everything and nothing. Yeah. So, you're not bowing to this person. You're not. So they want to hurt your money. They want to they make you come towards them. I feel like this is family. They want you codependent. So they're doing everything they can to affect you financially. So that you become dependent on them in some way, shape, or form. I don't understand. But I do feel like you've moved you're moving away from it. You're not you're not having it. This person is reaping what they've sown. Had they put you in a three party situation, especially with somebody in your family or something, or in their family, um, a mother or whatever, you've decided I'll take my chances. Virgo energy, juggling this person could be losing everything for coming for you. Six of Pentacles in reverse. They were very unfair. Very unfair about the treatment of you. They didn't know what your ranking was in the spiritual world. They just thought you was uh, just another lover. But you turned out to be a whole earth angel with empress qualities. They didn't expect that. I think that's why they're stressing so hard now is because they know that they got to pay the karma back. <clears throat> so you're going to get the truth by the end of this reading. I don't know how long it's going to take. 
Wow. The King and Queen of Cups and the Truth. You got your back turned to it. And they're in deep regret for it. For coming at you and the Ace of Wands. Whoever you are, I'm going to give you a heads up. Don't come at a Queen of Cups and an Ace of Wands like she's a Queen of Wands. You come with some sense. You make sense of it. Make it make sense. Because not only is she the Queen of Cups, but she's all four queens. And she's going to listen to logic over anything. Right? She's not going to she's not going to go for this hot toddy you know, come in, be spicy, and go out again. You know, she's not going to settle for that no more. She might have at one time, but she won't anymore. And if you're losing everything because you, you came at somebody like this, an earth angel, the way wrong way, then I, I can't empathize with you anymore. I used to, but I can't anymore because I've been on the other end of that. Good luck. I've been attacked. I've been brutally beat down. And I, you know, I can't feel sorry for you if that's what's happening to you right now. Because that's the, that's the seed you planted. Alright. You were supposed to be my, my mate and stick up for me and and be with me. Then, then you were supposed to do that. You weren't supposed to attack me. Which is what somebody's done here. Even if you don't know who they are, they're still attacking you. Like I said, somebody's being very fake. And they want to end this relationship. I can't make it up. False person. Coffin. And courtship. Want to end any kind of relationship you have coming in. And I don't usually read it like this, but I'm feeling like somebody, somebody's trying to make something look official that isn't official. So this person, you might get a concern, uh, a letter of concern, because somebody maybe unofficially signed your name to something and tried to take something that belonged to you. And I'm feeling like an inheritance or something it could even be this relationship. Like I said, somebody wants to be you. It's, it's kind of gross because I feel like they want to wear your skin. I don't believe in that, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, can somebody please get these people out of my energy? Uh. Meeting and conversing, Saber, in the moment. So you're about to meet somebody if you haven't met them already. And there's a codependent obsession here. Like I said, somebody is so codependent on your energy and, and, and wanting to be you that they block their own path. Empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used. Needing boundaries. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events. Finding out. Dope. We're going to find out. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship and love bombing. You've got a chaser on your ass. That's who this this immature person is. It's somebody that you left behind. And they're trying to keep you from meeting somebody new. I can't see it any other way. It's very unfortunate. Because this person's fixing to lose everything because of this. Because of their narcissistic behavior. Because they, they don't know how to be a knight of cups. That's what they want to be. But they don't know how to be a knight of cups, king of cups. So you will have a, a knight of cups, king of cups coming in. And this person wants to stop it with everything they got. Especially if it includes some kind of firm foundation that might be built from it. Yeah. Because you were their wish and you didn't fill it. You didn't give them what they wanted. 
So now they're they're it's like they're chasing you, but they want to destroy you. So you come back asking for help or wanting them to give you something or whatever, or they want to end you. I mean, they definitely want to end any kind of a relationship you got coming in, and they're going out of their way to do it. This is an intimacy issue. Connection, discover, and voice needs, and explore and heal. Yeah. Desire. So they're trying to kill your desire and your confidence. That's what they, they want to take your confidence and your desire away. So you don't desire anybody else. So maybe that they got a say, they got a half-assed chance. Excuse my language. Uh, to to be with you because you you know you get tired of not you know being with somebody or, or, or being alone and so they think that they, who settles for being the booby prize man that's some really really serious low self-esteem there whoever you are you settling for the booby prize really because there ain't nobody else because you've done knocked all the people out the way and you're gonna settle for that Where's your self-worth, man? Stillness and flow. Letting the stillness and flow. You've got an opportunity coming in. So this is why this is why they want to stop you. Because if you take this opportunity, you'll be out of their reach. And that's what they're that's what they're afraid of. That's why the Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. They're afraid that if you get this opportunity that you will be out of their reach which I, I feel like you already are with the queen of swords energy they don't realize that but you already are you're already away from that energy and already out of their reach because you won't go backward okay this is moon through the pine trees it says an occasional owl hoot and the song of a solo coyote 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 my gosh punctuate the stillness in the forest as a traveler walks through the pines. Light from the waning moon filters dawn through the canopy of needles and cascades across the forest floor. Forest floor. Yeah, that. Sometimes the trees obscure the moon, but sometimes it illuminates and its illumination clearly shows the path ahead. Pines are one of the most ancient plant genera on the planet they have existed nearly three times longer than all flowering plant species because most pines stay green all winter they traditionally represent longevity immortality fertility health and abundance the moon and her glossomer glow represents the feminine and the receptive side of life just as the moon receives and reflects the light of the moon, of the sun, symbol symbolically the moon represents receiving the goodness of the universe flowing to you. The sacred landscape wants you to know. It says gifts from the universe are ready to cascade into your life. Abundance, health, longevity, and vitality. And joy are flowing to you gently and easily in the days ahead this is what they're trying to stop there may be times when the goodness of it of life feels like it is ebbing and flowing rather than being a steady stream of fulfillment this is similar to the moon peeking through the pine trees for a moment or two but as you stay open and receptive physical and emotional gifts will come into your life instead of becoming the fact that there isn't a steady and constant stream of joy and gifts from the universe accept whatever you receive in a spirit of gratitude and your bounty will increase tenfold this is a universal law so maybe you're just going along with the tide right now and you got all this other muck muck going on around you but you're not even you're not even going there. You're just kind of allowing what is. And for each little 
gift and each little thing that happens that's good in your life you don't concentrate on what's going on with all these other people you know this chaser the, the addictions and all this other stuff you're grateful for that moment and you just keep going forward the universe promises you that your bounty will increase tenfold but be grateful for the small things now in the stillness of the moment and flow because you're getting ready to harvest something that is going to be very beautiful and do you have haters and you have people who want to say, oh yeah you've got plenty of those but take it with a grain of salt because they can't go with you on your journey when it's time to go all right you're gonna walk away from it you're gonna eat a cups it all right so those are your messages my babies please remember to press the like button subscribe and share and i see you next time Bye for now.